In today's video, we venture into the English countryside to find a hand-built stone castle that looks like something out of a fairy tale. One man's fantasy build began in 1989, 11 years in the making. Now it sits deserted and apparently never quite completed. Built from salvaged bits of stone from the surrounding area, he intended to create his animals at home, but ended up with something rather special. It's now known as the Hobbit's House. Oh my god, that looks amazing, doesn't it? Guys, Jess is wanting to go here for years, so she's super excited. <laughs> It's crazy. Look at that stonework on there, that's awesome. Right guys, here we go. Into the Hobbit house. Wow, look at the door. That's like a, this is so low down. Oh my God. Wow. Look at that. Look at the glass windows. That is insane. The amount of work and time that has gone into this place is absolutely crazy. Wow. Guys, look at look at the windows. This right hand side of the building has some beautiful details, from stained glass windows featuring the seasons and the elements, sculptured walls, a stone armchair and a spiral staircase, this small but spacious room feels especially cosy. Oh, there's, there's stairs up man. That is a small hole to get through that. Oh, is it just into the turret? Wow. Wow, look at that, guys. That's in one of the turrets. The fungus turrets. It also looks like a human... It almost looks like it's resting on the buttocks as well. Oh, <laughs> it's almost yeah. Like, it's almost like phallic. Yeah, this is, this is insane, man. The amount of work that's... I mean, just like... Just look at the windows. Well. Wow. Crazy man. Guys, look at this stonework. It's absolutely insane. How one man has made this place, I do not know. Wow. So it may come through. Oh, well, it's a bit here. Yeah, watch that, watch that one in there. Why was the wrong? Oh, that was wow, look at this. Here lie the mortal remains of Mrs. Bethia... What? Barley, barley corn. I barley corn, yeah. Goose of this the parish. Mortal remains. It means that the goose is buried here. Oh, right, is that a goose? Be like underneath that. I guess so, so yeah. Yeah, look, that's a makeshift cross. Oh. Um, wow! This is crazy. <laughs> Up we go. There's there's a ladder out here up to the roof as well. Wow, look, there's even a little bed in there. Look at that window. <laughs> wow. I don't know, man. It's a bit sketchy. This is wow. this is good because this is solid. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I think we're fairly safe on this bed. Is that like old light or something? It's an old lamp, lamp holder, an oil lamp, possibly. Wow. Here we go. Do you see a vehicle? Yeah. 
Carl, can you, Carl I, just rang and said he's here as well. He's just turned up. Guys! Guys! Yo! Luke, Guys. I think there's a is car it, coming. There's a, a vehicle coming across the way. Is, is Jess out the front? No, she's there. Okay, cool. I think they could be leaving. What? The coat's out there. Yeah, that's right. Well, everything's out there, my tr drone's out. Oh, no way, man. Yeah, so I'm just going to be a bit careful. Yeah. So this is the, this is as far as you can go up. No, there's, there's a ladder. There's a ladder inside. That's what I was going to say. It's as far as you can go up inside. Yeah. So if you go outside, you can go higher down. I wouldn't. I didn't stand on that. I just stepped straight across. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I can hear that. Sound. I can hear that vehicle. You heard it, yeah. Yeah. So there were vehicles working in that place later. For sure. There's the main door in. You can actually look up into one of the tur turrets in that room ahead of you. Okay. Cool. Right guys, I'm going to head around the back and see what this little ladder is all about. Oh, it's pretty overgrown. What's this room here then? Oh, wow, look at that. I can't actually believe that the stonework that's gone into this place is absolutely insane. You don't, this is a rare opportunity to see somewhere like this, just tucked, tucked away in the middle of nowhere. doesn't go up very high but check this out it's crazy guys Carl from Dark Arts TV is actually on his way here right now so if you want to see a paranormal investigation of this place make sure you head over to his channel hello who's that then <laughs> I'm going to head back around the front of the building now. <laughs> the ladder doesn't actually lead anywhere. Just has a little look in there. Wow. <laughs> there she is again. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Proper little hobbit house, yeah. What's this little room? Just all these little rooms hidden away everywhere. It's crazy. Wow. 
I've never seen stonework like this before. Very unique. Whoa, almost fell down a hole. There's the stained glass windows from the other side. Wow. I keep hearing voices though. Might just be us talking, maybe. Oh, no, there is um, there's some scramblers ragging it up earlier. Oh, was there? Yeah. There's a little milk cross area somewhere. Right guys, so the guy that lived here actually used to live here with his animals and this is where the sheep and the chickens used to live in this little part here. And the bed, his bed is up in there. So back in the back in the day they used to stay with their animals. So he was probably staying up in there, keeping all his sheep and chickens down in these bits here. Which is absolutely crazy. This hidden gem is something we won't soon forget. It really is a magical experience. Hats off to the man who created this enchanted cottage. Be sure to check out Dark Arts TV to see this place after nightfall and discover if anything or anyone remains here. Big thanks to the Secret Vault for his top-notch drone footage. The Hobbit House will continue to sit here frozen in time.